Now, one thing that I've realized is a fault in my writing is that I'm heavy on the Tumblr side of things, or the university side of things. Which is very postmodern, it's very Marxist. I'd say it's more postmodern on Tumblr and more Marxist on the university, but regardless, that doesn't reflect television. Television's the more open ended one. Anybody that has a TV doesn't even need cable, can go and watch something like hmm, Fox or CNN or MSNBC or CBS and they can see something that's essentially I'm gonna use a fucking phone right now I'm sorry why am I apologizing you guys are one that I'm choosing to watch this shit but uh, it, it's it's not that universitarian thing. It's not what Fringe Elements complains about. I think me and Fringe Elements are suffering from the same issue where what we interact with in terms of leftism is way different from the leftism that other people are dealing with. Most people, when they see a Tumblr leftist or if they actually pay attention to their professor, it, that is, if they ever went to a university that had one of them. They'll, they'll see that it's way different. A liberal is way different from a Marxist, especially a centrist liberal, which makes up the bulk of most people. Most people are centrist. These are the people that... Uh, A hardcore liberal would say that Barack Obama is too right-winged. The typical centrist says that anybody that disagrees with Barack Obama is a uh, Fox News watching, inbred neocon, which isn't the case. Yet half these niggas don't know what a libertarian is, so how are they ready for someone like me? They're not ready. Uh, now, they're not ready for a grog. And furthermore, they're definitely not ready for a Van Robert Bryant. That, that's just too much for them. That's like a... That's like if I have trouble beating Team Rocket. And now I'm supposed to beat fucking... The Terminator, it's not gonna fucking happen. It's not gonna fucking happen, because that nigga just doesn't die. He he has, like, multiple forms. Uh, you take off his... You blow his shit up, he turns into, like, his robot shit. It's impossible. It's not gonna happen. They're not ready for it. You wanna tell me that the nigga that thinks the Tea Partiers are a fascist movement, that they're ready for, let's say, half the niggas I associate with, they're gonna shit their pants. Now, a Tumblr fuck might, uh... might be prepared for that shit, because in Tumblr you also get some crazy right-wingers, too. I recently found that out after years of wasting my time there, only pissing off the fembots, but they're ready. They're ready. Do you think that fucking, uh, half these things are ready? No, what happened is the Marxists, they were fucked up a long time ago because they said that communism was going to win out back in the 80s, that, uh, they were saying all this shit in universities, and they were also somewhat acclaimed in the media, too. And little by little, after they've been wrong more and more, they've sort of fallen back from the media. They just 
aren't taken seriously and they're stuck in the university. So a lot of my opponents on my blog posts or a lot of the manosphere writers have these same opponents. These people are temporary. They're temporary. They're not going to be here for long. They're not going to be here at all in the near future. And the people that we do got to worry about are super lame. Super duper lame. Like, these are the people that if you ask them who fucking Nietzsche is, they won't give you an answer. So they don't even know freshman year philosophy. They don't know senior year AP philosophy. They don't, they don't even got that. Never been to a library for long. Never been to a when they Google these are the type of niggas that Google to look up shit that isn't really substantially interesting. Like when I when I'm on Wikipedia, I'm looking shit up for hours and hours on end. But when they like when they check shit it's it's nothing, man, uh and so these are the people we gotta worry about. We're not worried about Harvard. We don't care about Harvard. We should be worried about uh we should we should be worried about the shit our parents are watching on TV. Cause that that's some scary ass shit. I mean, you watch you go to the television station, you know that these niggas have an agenda. You know these niggas is plotting and calculating. I'm looking up shit related to what I'm talking about right now. But because I'm such an unprofessional asshole, I'm doing it right now. And in those regards, I'm starting to realize that our opponents are becoming less interesting. I've had to look up shit like this because I've had to dumb down who I'm opposing, who I'm looking at, really. And it's really sad what I'm getting. Because now everything is coming full circle for me. And hopefully it does for Orion Falk, but I know he's associating with people that I'm associating with now. So he just needs someone to tell him to wake him up. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka 7. All that fake liberal bullshit is here today, gone tomorrow. There's a new one every 20 years. Realness is forever. And because of that, you've got to respect the king.